Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to transfer files from one computer to another without a pen drive. Okay, so what you do is you click on your network and then there you see open network and sharing center. You click on that and then you find the set up a new connection on it. You click on that too and then the window will pop up. You scroll down to find set up a wireless Apple computer to computer network. You click on that and you click on next. Okay, now you click on next again and here you'll be asked to provide a network name. I'm going to enter tutorials. This is what we are going to do, the network name. And then you provide a password which the user should log or enter to log, log on. Click next. And then, yeah, your network is now ready. If you, um, okay, let me close this one. And then when you go down and click on your network, you see the network waiting for users. Okay, so now we have created a new network, wireless network. You open the folder you want to share. I want to share this hard disk partition. These are the files inside that I want to share with my friends. So you right click on the files or partition you want to share and you go to share with and you click on advanced sharing. The window will pop up. When the window pops up, you find a lot of options. Here you're going to choose click on the advanced sharing, click on that, and this window will pop up. And here you check share this folder. Of course, you want to share it, even though it is not a folder, Windows is at a folder with the drive letter D, whatever it is. You just check that um, box and then you click on um, okay. And then just set up the permissions here. Yeah. I'm going to allow full control, which means that users can um, copy the file, play the file, or even edit the file on my computer. If you don't want that way, you just want users to kind of um, read that is only kind of play music or what the movie or any, any file on your computer can so to choose the read. The change is also there where they can also add um, modifications to the file. But in this way, I'm going to choose the full control and that. I click on OK, then here yeah, I click on Close. And when that is done, now I'm sharing the file. So anyone who gets access to my network will see the file. Now, on the different computer, I'm using Windows 8 for this connection. You click on Network Settings, and here you see the tutorial network is now connect, um, seen. You click on Connect, and here you'll be asked to enter the password. So you have to give the password to anyone you want to share the file with. So I'm going to enter in the password and click on Next. Now. They are, you say we actually do you want to turn on sharing with PCs? Yes, of course, we want to turn it on. And when that is down, it's now connected, and you see on my computer is now connected. Okay, so one last thing. Um, when you start sharing the file, accessing the file on other network is not working. We right click on the network and go to the status. Then we are going to try to go, click on properties. We're going to try to turn on the go, click on sharing, turn on the internet connection it's might not be necessary if you try it and it's not working then you come here to turn on the internet connection choose a wireless network connection and then um, what about wireless network connection you have to click you choose it and then click ok yeah this one will also make it possible for you to share your internet connection with others okay so all set and done we'll click close and now we are ready to so come to Windows 8 or other computer and click on network and here to ask you network sharing is not turned on so click here to turn it on you click there and then to ask you turn on network discovery and file sharing yes of course and then ask you to confirm yes turn on network discovery and when that is done it will scan for all computers connected to this um, network and there you see there, that is the computer I'm sharing with the first one double so click on it and then it will ask you to enter the password now you add, enter the password from the host computer for the password that the host computer is using. The computer I'm, I'm using for this is called Jack. You just enter the Jack and the, the password of the same computer. And then you click on OK. And then you see the files that are trying to share. See, these are the files that I'm trying to see. They have, they have appeared on the computer. So you can use this method and it works fine.